welcome everyone it's awesome to see you again it is camping season and i am on my way first camp stop of the season this will be the devil's hop yard but uh, stay tuned let's go So I am halfway checked in, enough to at least leave camp. I'm gonna head over to the waterfall. Now I have been to this waterfall several times over the years. It is a very gorgeous waterfall, but it's usually really, really crowded. A lot of wading in the water and some of the cascades. So it's a little difficult at times, unless you're here early in the morning, which is usually when I come. But it is late in the day now. The sun is just setting over here. Um, let me see that there. And I just wanted to get down there and take a look. I do hear some some voices down there so chances are I'm not gonna get any any good photographs per se however it'll give me a good chance to get warmed up just to recall the waterfall just recall the land it's all it's all coming back to me it's been years since I've been here um, so yeah and then maybe in the morning maybe we'll do a hike around the waterfall there's a short trail about half a mile or so and then we'll hit the waterfall and then do a little exploring afterwards let's get down there and check this out so I do recall a little lookout down this trail down here. So we're going to hit that really quick. It's sort of a side view looking down. And then we'll go up around the side over the bridge and the other side, which is where the main platform, well, not platform, but the main rock formation to stand on. Now look at the fall straight on is. Well, let's check this out. This is it's really pretty. It's a pretty park. It's really a pretty area. Legend has it, Devil's Hopyard got its name by the pothole stone formations that could be found here. To early settlers, this was an unsolved mystery, and so they thought the devil may have had a hand in this, or a hoof for that matter, by accidentally getting his tail wet, and thus angering him to burn holes into the stones with his hooves while he bound it away. Another popular tale is about a man named Dibble, who had a garden for growing hops, that is, for brewing beer, of course. However, there is no mention of a landowner named Dibble, so it's thought Dibble may have been a tenant. And so, the mystery, well, the mystery remains. So while I did miss the best light before getting down here, it took me a little while to set up camp, but I figured that was going to happen. I did get some decent shots after light. There was still enough blue in the sky. Uh, I didn't have to put any filters on because the light was low. And uh, I still pretty happy. So let me share those with you. I head back to camp, finish setting up, take some food, start a fire, enjoy my night, and uh, we'll go from there.
How could I not stop? I shoot a bridge going over this beautiful, beautiful river. So we'll take a few shots and, uh, and then we'll move on. Back up to the to the, the waterfall, but now from the other side of the trail, I just did the whole loop. So uh, I'm gonna go down and explore. I'm thinking about trying maybe put the long lens on, just uh, go tight, maybe explore like that. I don't know. Let's play around, see what we get. For last night's shot, I climbed down to the lower section off to the left. For this morning, I plan to shoot at the upper landing here for a different vantage point. There may also be a considerable difference in the tones or the mood from last night's shot made during blue hour and this morning's shot shortly after sunrise. feeling something here. There is something. That's just calling me. There's something right here with these trees. The river. Alright, let me work this scene. Let's see if we can pull something out. It's busy. It's very busy. But there's there's beauty here. So, let's go. Let's go. 